Okay, hi everyone. I'm Aga, I'm compulsive eater. I weigh and measure things a day out of the sheet. I commit them to my sponsor. I don't eat in between no matter what. And got an absence are most important in my life today. Um, and my favorite prayer, which I would like to read, uh, is uh, St. Francis' prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of that peace. That word there is hatred, I may bring love. That word there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness. That word there is discord, I may bring harmony. That word there is error, I may bring truth. That word there is doubt, I may bring faith. That word there is despair, I may bring hope. That word there is shadow, there are shadows, I may bring light. That word there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand rather to be understood, to love than to be loved. For this is by self-forgetting that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Amen. Last year has been a huge step in my recovery in Gracious. And uh, when people ask me what I've done differently, I put only one answer. Um, I just put everything in God's hands um, because I have nothing to lose. Um, at the end of 2020, I left gray sheet and started my biggest binging. Uh, I was in food from early morning until the, the late evening at night. Um, at the beginning, I was enjoying my, enjoying my binging, but after a few days, it became overwhelming and impossible to stop. Um, I couldn't control myself, and because it was impossible to control something which was out of control. So for the majority of the time, I felt uh, very awfully. I was sick to do non-stop eating and full of guilt to, uh, and shame to God, my family and friends and myself. Um, I felt like if I was in trance, totally numb and disassociated from myself. Uh, I only knew that I had to finish this as soon as possible because I didn't want to live that life anymore. But the only way that I could think about at that time was taking my own life. I started destroying all my notes and my books. Uh, I've been my gray sheet, I deleted phone numbers. Um, I don't know why, but I was thinking that in all this mess inside me, I just wanted to tidy up everything outside which was visible to others. And when one of my friends in fellowship found me and asked whether I would like to commit my meals to her. I refused twice because I didn't believe that, I, because I did believe that I'm not ready for gracious. And her third call was like changed my life. Uh, I did commit my food. Uh, I'm joking that I commit the food because I wanted to get rid of, get rid of her. But for God, it was uh, a serious decision. Uh, how I see this today, it was like a step into darkness, uh, which wasn't the act of courage and uh, determination, but uh, I just was giving up. And I knew at the time, like, as I said, I had nothing to lose because I've already tied it up my life. But for God, it was a step of trusting him and that for whatever happens was going to be good for me. Um, like people often say, take the action and your feelings will follow. And that is exactly what happened to me. It was the beginning of the blessed time when a lot of miracles have started happening in my life, which was, I think it was God's answer to my surrender. It leads to transformation of my relationship with him. 
And uh, as far as I remember, I was full of fear, which made me unable to recover. But with time being, my faith started to place into fear. And uh, eventually I felt that I'm safe and protected. Uh, now I'm working on my on becoming dependent of God, on God rather than other people and myself. And uh, I heard just recently from someone uh, who said, pray like if everything depended on God and work like if everything depended on you. Which is not easy, especially for a person like me who has survived the rough moments in the past uh, when I had to protect my mom and my siblings from my abusive dad. And because I had to rely on myself, it was impossible for me uh, to, uh, to trust someone, someone else. Um, it, but it has changed when I started working the steps and I forgive, I forgiven my dad. I wanted to do so uh, earlier as well, but I didn't at the same time. So I prayed for the willingness and uh, it eventually happened. Uh, I would like to say a little bit about my food today. A huge help for me was when I heard uh, my friends share that time between meals is fasting for God, which is not always easy, but what I discovered recently is that I want to surrender to my higher power each difficulty I go through. Um, and those difficulties are I treat as an uh, act of special prayer and sacrifice in somebody's uh, intention. Uh, as I do believe and I know that there are so many people who still suffer within this fellowship and outside. I remember that at the very beginning, I was constantly disappointed of myself. It's because I was comparing myself to other people, and uh, which of course uh, meant that I'm never good enough, committed enough, ready enough, cooperative, and honest enough. Uh, I was beating myself that my needs are always the same. Um, but I needed months to understand that it's nothing wrong with my food because it's mine and it's how I like it. Um, it's simply my, I, I could say my laziness because I've never been fancy to spend hours in the kitchen. But I like when um, my meals are tasty and I like colors on my plate. Um, and I've also learned that the time when I eat is a feast, a celebration and a gratitude to God. And this uh, makes my, my needs special. Full of fear in the past, I became more courageous in the last few months and I started leaving my comfort zone. I started eating out um, when I'm planning to go to a restaurant, I call them first and ask whether it's possible to, so they could prepare something for me uh, according to gracious rules. If not, I just ask for the permission uh, to bring my own food. And so far, uh, it wasn't a problem at all, which was a big surprise to me because I was always thinking something, you know, very unusual and people are not willing to, to do this for me. Uh, when I'm eating out, I try not to look around um, because other people's uh, gazing at me makes, it makes me distracted. Uh, I try to be uh, focused on my food and I, um, a friend in fellowship told me one day that as long as I put other people first, I can't be abstinent. And those words have been my second mantra for last year. And um, despite I've lost a few friends because of uh, my commitment to this program, uh, I haven't given up. 
uh, I've also learned that uh, it's worth to drop the relationship with people who don't support my abstinence. Um, just some people just think I'm doing some diet. They don't accept that it's a food program and way of life. Um, I must say that today I'm not free of thoughts about the food we don't eat, uh, but those thoughts are very quiet and they don't disturb me at all. Uh, it is completely different in the past. And uh, I think the big hug for me is the serenity prayer, which I couldn't understand at the beginning and I couldn't understand why people are so excited about this. Uh, but today, like in the meantime, something clicked in my head and serenity prayer became alive in me now and it's the solution for all my struggles. Whatever I do, I do my best and I leave the results to God. As a wife and a mom, I've got my usual duties at home, like shopping and cooking for the rest of family. And um, it's not a problem for me anymore. And I also uh, bake stuff for my tenants with I work, whom I work with. I do it for two years and they are not, it's not a trigger at all as well and uh, I do believe and that God helps me if I do something for other people. Um, it's not always easy as I said and um, I, it's still a big challenge and uh, difficult for me to reach out to other worshippers and to share at meetings. Uh, but I do baby steps in those two areas and I try to remember its progress of perfection. I do a, a bit of service, um, but it's still not enough in my understanding uh, because I still feel like I'm aware of my limitations and my fear of, you know, being uh, taking some responsibilities, uh, but I would like to change it this year. And a few days ago, I had my first birthday in Gracious, and in that particular day, I experienced a few no matter what, which was quite difficult for me, and put my abstinence at risk. Uh, I simply was uh, feeling that I lose my grip and. I was crying almost all day and I was afraid. Um, but I said that last week and uh, I want to repeat this. I had my three meals on that day and they were, I called them my lighthouses. And I had my higher power who's always with me and I can rely, rely on him. And uh, I want to say on the 1st of February, just the first day in, in the last 20 days, tw sorry, 20 years, when uh, I, I've seen that my weight is healthy for the first time in 20 years. And um, I'm so happy that I'm healthy. Uh, I'm happy that I got my life back. And um, yes, I, I want to say thank you to my sponsor and to all my friends in fellowship for being here, for supporting me, for being patient with me. And without you, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you very much.